All right, so in this example, I'm showing how to set a height and a width for an object. So here I've created a container. Um, the extent of the container is shown there in, in beige. And as you can see, it's actually larger than it needs to be to hold its content, which is just these three paragraphs. And the reason for that is because I've set a defined width and a defined height. Um, so this is going to be 500 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. If we didn't set those, so let me just remove those, then the object is going to be as large as it needs to be to hold its content. So you can see there, it will it, it extends across the whole page by default, but it's only tall enough where the height is set so it's, it's as large as it needs to be to hold those three paragraphs. Um, another common uh, setting is the max width. Um, so this allows things to resize, but only up to a defined size. So let's uh, activate that one. Okay, so as you see here, this thing has a max width of 800. So it's not going to get bigger than that, but then as we go under, as the page gets smaller, it will get smaller than 800. But then eventually it will not get any larger. So, so basically height and width set a defined height and width. You also have max height and max width. Max width is what's gener uh, demonstrated here, which sets a maximum, but it can get smaller than that um, with, uh, if, the screen, uh, if the screen size changes.